Hello, everyone. This morning I brought with me an angel to help me tell a wonderful story about God. God doesn't work like we do. People who are very important, or so we think, uh, we treat them special. We treat them differently than we would a regular pe person. Do you know of people that are very important in your mind? Maybe kings from other countries, maybe our presidents, maybe even our pastors, they're important in our minds. Well, how do we treat people that are poor or don't have a wonderful job? Do we think they're not as important as these other people? Well, this was true even long ago. A while back, we were talking about the birth of a baby. Well, that baby was born in a little town that wasn't important. In that little town, there was a young woman that wasn't important. Do you know who that young woman was? Well, it was Mary. Mary wasn't important because she was poor. She didn't have a job. She didn't have a high position. And she wasn't any princess or any queen. Many said she just wasn't important. Who was that person? I just mentioned her name. Yes, it was Mary. And she lived in Nazareth, that very unimportant town. Well, God thought that Mary was very important. He sent a messenger to, to Mary, Gabriel, an angel. And do you remember what that angel told Mary? He told her she was going to have a baby. And he was supposed to be named Jesus. That made her very important. The most important thing anybody could ever to do. The story tells us that every person is precious and important to God. He could have chosen anyone to be Jesus's mother, but he didn't. He chose someone everybody thought wasn't important. But Mary was very important. She was important to God long before anyone else thought she was important. You know who else is important to God? You are important to God. He loves each one of us. And each one of us are important to him in his sight. Let's have a short prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for making us important people so that we may learn to love and hear about God and love Jesus, who's going to be born in Christmas time. Amen. Just a note. Uh, don't forget your penny offerings, and hopefully this pandemic will get over soon and we'll be able to meet again. Love you. God bless. Bye now.